Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. And today I wanted to bring you a quick video where I showed you how I propagated some Drosera capensis from seeds. This is not the most orthodox way, so I kind of wanted to explain sort of what I did and what happened and uh, sort of my thought process going into it. I actually didn't really have any plans on growing any of these from seed, so the, the way that I did this was really kind of on the fly really quick. I actually didn't get any video of what I did, which I'm kind of bummed about. But I did, I did do it and I just kind of threw them in here to see what would happen and I think that if uh, somebody out there wanted to kind of use this method to do it, it actually will probably work for them too, I would imagine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain that to you here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off so I can show you how these look. But real quick before we do that, check this out. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, thanks so much for uh, checking that out. I really appreciate that. Uh, maybe you can go and get yourself some uh, some Cape Sundews from California Carnivores using that, that CP Hub code to get 10% off. But uh, let's check this out. So basically what I did, before I open this up here, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. I grew a flower stalk on my Drosera carpensis, or my Cape Sundew, and I decided uh, the, the, the flower bloomed, it was really beautiful, it died and it turned completely brown and I decided to do a little research on gathering seeds. I found out that these do self-pollinate so you don't actually have to have two different flower stalks. You can actually, one flower stalk can pollinate itself. So I got pretty excited and I decided to go ahead and um, just kind of try this. I, I've never actually, I've, I've never collected seeds from a Cape Sundew before and this is probably one of the laziest and most ridiculous ways to do this. But what I did is I actually just cut the flower off and instead of searching for seeds, I just crumbled the whole thing up and I just dumped all of its contents on top of this this planter here with some substrate in it. And I thought, what the heck, I'm, if I get some that's great, if I don't, equally great, whatever. I know that these are kind of the weeds of the carnivorous plant community. so. I probably shouldn't get too much credit for propagating these. Usually these propagate themselves without much help. They start kind of popping up in all your different pots and planters, so I don't really deserve a pat on the back or anything. But here is what happened. Crumbled them all up, threw them on here. I covered it up with this, this little ramekin here, like a sauce ramekin, and uh, just kept it watered. And, and here was the results. Let's get in here closer so you can see. You can see. They're starting to pop up here all over the place. Really, really beautiful. I have actually quite a few of them in here, which I'm really excited about. I didn't, I really didn't think it was gonna work. I can see that one's got some, some really nice dew on it already. I've been keeping these under the ceramic in to give them some extra humidity because I know usually seed grown carnivorous plants always benefit from a little extra humidity even if they're not a plant that requires a lot of humidity they usually do benefit from it even like Venus flytraps these guys do like a lot of humidity so I knew it wasn't gonna hurt these at all but uh, yeah so took the flower stalk once it once it turned completely brown and was completely dead I cut it off I crumbled it up and I just kinda dropped it in here and I wasn't sure if the flower stalks themselves would actually propagate, which I don't know if this, I don't think it did, but I actually did bury a little part of the flower. So you can see there's the, the two little flowers right there, but I, I did kind of plant it in there just to see if the flower stalk would propagate. It didn't, uh, but you can see here, I definitely got some, some starts here from seeds. So I was pretty excited about that. I thought it was kind of cool. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I, I wish I would have taken the video of the flower and the crumbling up and the whole process and maybe when I get another flower on my my, my mature Cape Sundew I'll I'll do the same thing I'll crumple it up I'll throw it in a flower pot like this and uh, we'll, we'll document it a little bit better so you can see kind of how it went down but I'm, I would imagine that based on the way that I'm explaining it you kind of understand and would be able to accomplish that yourself if you wanted to but yeah pretty cool Really, really cool little plants. These are probably one of the easiest plants to propagate and grow. They really do grow like weeds. They're really, really neat. They're beautiful plants. They're really good for gnat and fruit fly control. They, they catch a lot of really small. Sometimes when they get a little bit bigger, they do catch like house flies and stuff, but usually they're much better at catching smaller 
insects like gnats and, and fruit flies and that kind of stuff. So really, really cool plant. Really, really, be really easy to propagate. So I, I encourage you that if you have your own Cape Sundew, cut off that flower once it's dead, crumble it up, throw your contents on some substrate, cover the substrate, put it under a light or under the sun, and let these puppies grow because they definitely will. So pretty cool. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by everyone. I really appreciate it. I just want to show you these real quick and uh, let you know how much I appreciate you. Make sure to like this video if you thought that was cool. I'll keep you updating you on these, these seedlings here and see how they continue to grow. Uh, so subscribe to the channel so you can see those updates. Make sure and like this video. All that stuff helps me out so much in my journey to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday. So thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.